the White House, though Chase said any suggestions of deliberate misinformation or of a cover-up. There's no there there. And the fact that this keeps on getting churned out, frankly, has a lot to do with political motivations. There is no disputing this. The explanations have at times been inconsistent, conflicting, and inaccurate. What we do know is that uh, the natural uh, protests that uh, arose because of the outrage over the video uh, were used as an excuse by extremists. I heard uh, Hillary Clinton say that it was an act of terrorism. Is it? What do you say? Well, we're still doing an investigation. Uh, there's no doubt that the kind of weapons that were used, uh, the, the ongoing assault, uh, that it wasn't just a mob action. Exhibit A in this debate is these Benghazi talking points used by Ambassador Rice when she made the Sunday show rounds. The whole issue of this of, of talking points, frankly, throughout this process has been a sideshow. Perhaps, but the administration at least shares blame for what the president calls a political circus. Though the White House and the State Department have made clear that the single adjustment that was made to those talking points uh, by either of those two, uh, these two institutions were changing the word consulate to diplomatic facility because consulate was inaccurate. That's just not true. We now know the National Security Council staff was behind several edits, and the State Department vigorously pushed others. The first draft referenced Islamic extremists with ties to al-Qaeda. A second noted repeated CIA warnings about al-Qaeda's presence in Benghazi. But administration emails show State Department spokeswoman Victoria Nuland objected to naming terror groups. She also pushed to delete the reference to those threat warnings. Even after changes, Nuland wrote one draft failed to resolve all of my issues or those of my building leadership. For months, Newland refused to explain who she meant by building leadership. Not being transparent feeds people's worst fears and worst suspicions. In July, she finally told the Senate she was referring to Jake Sullivan, the department's deputy chief of staff and a key member of Secretary Clinton's inner circle. I, I did not is. consult with anybody else. Sullivan is among more than a half dozen top Clinton aides ISIS committee wants to question.